Hey guys, in this video I'll be showing you guys how to make your rogue lineage mana system. Remember, this concept idea was not from me, it was from Archmage, but we were the ones that scripted it, so I hope you guys like it. If you have any concerns, join the Discord below, and now let's get right into it. So we're going to go to our starter GUI, uh, and then we're going to make a screen GUI, and we're going to make our back frame. And we have our back, we have a back frame, and inside this back frame we have our overlay. So for this overlay, it's it's like it's basically just overlapping on this frame. Remember, you gotta make sure that your this is a frame and this is like a, a your overlay. It can be whatever you want. Just make sure it's like you can like uh, it's just one color if you want, and make sure you put it all the way down because the way I scaled it inside the script will depend on like how you place this here. So what we're gonna do now? Uh, let me just put this back to normal. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna make it we're gonna go to replicate storage. We're gonna add a man event. This is gonna be a replicated this is gonna be inside replicated storage. This is gonna help us uh this is gonna help us so uh it can go to the server side so we can, we can avoid like exploiters trying to like export our, our men and stuff. And then that's basically all for like the, the bare minimum. But uh but just to make sure the really important part is make sure you have your uh your frame and your overlay because without this uh your your uh mana going up will not scale correctly. <laughs> Now going right into the script, so what we're going to do here, we're going to get mana event, run service, and then we're going to have two tables, we're going to name it debounce and debounce2, and then we're going to make a, then we're going to uh, uh, call a function that a uh, player added, uh, and then we're going to run play through the parameters, and we're going to repeat wait until player.character, we're just doing this because uh, it, the, the, it just, the script is run so fast that it won't even wait for like the, the character to load, so that's why we just did that. So now we're going to do, uh, we're just going to make our data folder, so we're going to keep like all our, our, our max mana and our mana. So this is our new dot folder. Then we're gonna uh, parent to the player. Then we're gonna name the folder called the data folder, so we can call it. Uh, so what we're gonna do now? We're gonna make our max mana equal to a hundred. So we have our max mana here. We're gonna parent it to our data folder, make the value uh, equal to a hundred, and just name it. Our mana. We're gonna make our mana value a number value. Remember these are number values, not int values. And then we're gonna parent it to our data folder. Then we're gonna name it mana, and then we're gonna set the value to zero. Because in Rogue, when you play a game, your mana doesn't start at a hundred; starts right at zero. So uh, then we're gonna have full charge equal instance on need. Then we're gonna have our number value, and for this number value, we're gonna uh, parent it also to the data folder, and then we're gonna name it full charge, and we're gonna name it uh, full charge dot value equals 0.1, and this full charge is gonna help us indicate every time we uh, hit the bar to the top, so we can add more numbers to this number value, so we, our charge can go faster and go down slower. So for this bar decrease, we're gonna do instance dot new number value, and we're gonna uh, parent it to the data folder. And what I did here, I try to make like a uh, an equation that would help me with this uh with this uh scaling for the bar but yeah so we're basically gonna name it bar decrease because it's gonna help us uh make the bar decrease so inside of here we're gonna do a full bar dot change connect function we're gonna make debounce player equal to nil so you guys are, uh so it's kind of weird why i did this but uh you guys will understand it now so we can jump down here before we talk about the rest of this here so we're gonna uh so every time inside of their uh our local script here this should be super easy to understand. I didn't want to start with this first because this is like this is super easy to understand. So all we're doing here we're just making uh our keybind G. When our keybind G is hit, we're gonna fire the uh our, our um our remote event and we're gonna fire true if they're holding G when they press G. When they let go of G, we're gonna fire false. That's basically what we're doing, right? Going right into this, we're gonna do uh onsir event connect function player and we're gonna have is key down. And this is is key down is gonna be equal to our true and our false, so our boolean value. And then we're gonna make debounce player equal to our our uh, our is key down. So basically, this is gonna be equal to true or false, right? So now we're gonna set this equal to nil. And the while we're setting this to nil, because every time we hit the top of the bar, we want our we want our mana value to go all the way back down, right? So now we're gonna make if our full charge dot value is greater than 0.5, then we're gonna make it equal to 0.5, so it doesn't overcap. And then we're gonna set our debounce equal to nil, so it's gonna, the bar is gonna start going back down. And now coming on to the uh, one of the most complex parts of this whole script here. So, uh, so I made this in two ways depending on what you like. I made it so the bar goes up slow and it comes down slow. And I made it so uh, the uh, the more you charge, it goes up fast and uh, the faster it goes down. So if you want that, you're gonna use this equation right here. Just a reminder here. <laughs> so uh, what we're gonna do here, we're gonna do run service the harpy connect function, and we're gonna fire DT. DT is basically gonna be like our little, like, you know, if you do a uh, for I loop, it's basically gonna be our I. So uh, then we're gonna do, uh, then we're gonna loop to the players, and then we're gonna get, uh, so for I being pairs, game dot players, get players, uh, then we're gonna do do. We're gonna look at our mana doing players, wait for child data folder dot mana. We're gonna look at our max mana. We're gonna look at our full charge. Then we're gonna look at our bar decrease. And now we're gonna do if debounce player, now debounce player, if this is true, so if it fires true, 
Then we're going to make meta.value equal to ma uh, math.min. And the way we're doing math.min, since we're in a run server, this is going to keep firing over and over and over again, right? So now we're going to try to find the, mo the minimum value of this equation here. So meta.value plus full charge.value times dt, so our little loop, times 115. So the, the higher this number is, the faster it's going to go. So if we set this to 100, it's going to go up pretty slow. But if we put it at 115, it's going to go up at like a moderate rate. And now if uh, if this is not the minimum, so if like this is not the smallest, then we're just going to set the value just to, uh, we're going to set our default value to uh, max minute dot value. So else, if debuff plays, uh, if debuff plays equal to false, so if this is, so if it's not true, so if it fires uh, false here, then we're going to make minimum value equals uh, math.max. So what we're going to do here is we're going to uh, return the, the biggest value. Now we're going to do meta.value minus full charge.value. So starting off with 0.1 times, and we're going to put this in parentheses right here, dt, so our loop, times 100 times bar decrease dot value. So the way I think about it like this is that the bigger this number is, the faster it goes. The smaller it is, the slower it goes. It's, it's super simple like that. So just knowing that this is going to help you to uh, uh, differentiate what you want to happen to your um, your uh, your script. So now we're going to make a, if this is not our, our, our max, we're just going to set it to zero. And then we're going to inside of here, this is how we're going to be adding. This is how we're going to be indicating every time our mana bar hits the top of the uh, uh, the max mana, right? So if mana dot value equals equals max mana dot value, then if not debounce player two, so uh so if this if not debuff player two then we're gonna make it equal to true and then we're gonna uh do full charge dot value equals full charge dot value plus 0.1 so basically we're just adding 0.1 to our full charge dot value if their mana bar hits the top then we're gonna add then we're gonna subtract 0.5 because we want this to go down so our bar goes down slower dot value so we're gonna uh subtract 0.5 then we're going to print full charge. We're just going to print it here just so you can see uh, how the number is changing every time. Because I like to, I like it uh, to be like a better representation. But if you want to save some lines, you can just remove this here. Continue, and you can continue on with the script. And then end. And else, we're going to set debounce player equal to nil. So there's absolutely nothing. So uh, this is debounce 2. This is different from our debounce because this is a whole different table. This is our second table here. And then we're, uh, for the uh, last two lines of the script, all we're going to do here, now we're going to do, now we're going to start the tuning. So for this tweening, what we're going to do here, we're going to do mana GUI equals player dot player GUI, wait for child screen GUI dot back frame dot overlay. So what we're doing here, we're basically just going to be locating our, we're going to be locating our, our starter GUI inside the player GUI. So we're going to be locating all our, our, our back frame and our overlay, but all we need right now is our overlay because our back frame is just going to help us scale it so nothing comes out of this frame here. <laughs> So now we're gonna do we're gonna do manage UI, tween service. We're gonna do utm dot new. We're gonna do one zero negative. So uh, you, uh, I put in parentheses because uh, you know just to keep it organized. But uh, you should keep it in parentheses. Uh, it should be a habit for you guys. So we're gonna do negative mana dot value divided by max mana dot value. Then we're gonna close the parentheses. We're gonna put zero. So now it's gonna be scaling up and down now because uh, most ways uh, if you put it in the if you put it in the x axis of the utm.2 is going to start going from the left to right but we put it inside the y so it can start going from up and down and then we're going to uh so what we're going to do here for the last one here we're going to uh just set our, our tween here so we're going to make it in we're going to make it sign so uh if you're experienced with tweening remember we can make this like quad linear and etc and then we're going to set this value to 0.1 so every time the tween is changing, it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna take 0.1 seconds for it to uh for this whole uh um tween to work. That's basically how you make your rogue mana bar system. If you have any questions, ask me down below. If you have any problems with the script, just be sure to join my Discord. We'll be happy to help you guys. And have a great day.